We are walking down the stairs to get into this fort. It is surrounded by these brick walls. On the inside we see there is another corridor and we get into the outside. What we see here is inside the fort, the middle area, you can see all the different buildings surrounding the house wall. Hello everybody, this is Rajesh Marcos. Today we are in Florida's Amelia Island at the fort here you can see around. Here is a cannon bolt from up here you can see the entirely of the fort. These cannonballs are set to go across the fort walls to enemies. The Civilian Conservation Corps Company were in charge of reconstructing the fort as it had a lot of sand and debris covering it. This organization was for young men and families that had a difficult time finding employment during the Great Depression after the war. Here you can see some medicinal plants. The Europeans learned a lot from the Native Americans in America as they used many natural means for medicine. Some of these plants can be found around this museum. They do have this gift shop as well for fort clings. They have images for sales as well as pictures of the men here. We are about to enter the US sea coast fortification as we enter the museum we see the american flag as well as painting of the general of this army we also see painting of president lincoln
This fort was unoccupied from 1898 to 1926 and was sold from owner to owner until the state of Florida purchased it. These items belong to a sergeant who served at Fort Clinch from 1862. We can see some of the weapons used here. During this period of war There were many advances in the sea coast weapons such as the guns and ammunition. The heavy cannon was also designed for coast defense during the time. There are some fragments of the old weapons. This is the overall layout of Fort Clinch. It is shaped like an arrow with the many different buildings inside of it. We are going back in history to the Civil War. Union soldiers are building the fort. We can see up ahead the walls of the fort and a path to get there. We can see the cannon balls facing the sea in case of naval attacks. There is also a bridge that can be raised in case of attack.
this is the inside of the barracks where the soldiers lived. You can see a table, some bunk beds and some lanterns for light. They have stocks of wood for fire and warmth. The fort has many high and low points in case of attacks as it was built for the best defense and attack possible. You can see the little windows here were made so that guns could be pointed out of them and shot but people were more protected by the walls so they wouldn't be hit as easily. Through the inside of the fort, there are many corridors like this one that are narrow, although the bricks are all they are sturdy. Some spots are blocked off, however, we can see that access to windows is not many as the point is different defense, but there are quick ways to get outside in case of attack. We are going upstairs through this, these steps.
you can have can see a good view from this fort top of this fort It is interesting to think of the history here. There were soldiers here on the very place I am standing many years ago fighting for their lives and their country. There were better place for places in the fort for more senior officers with better living conditions. I hope you enjoyed this video about Fort Clinch. If you did like, share and subscribe for more. See you next time.